Be careful, it's a box of boo. What's inside? The BAM Horror Box, the monthly horror subscription service. I certainly hope there's no booze inside this box, but one will find inside a BAM Horror Box delivered to their doorstep every single month is prop replicas, collectibles, and most importantly, autographs of some of your favorite celebrities from television and film. If you'd like to get on board the BAM Box bandwagon, you can certainly click the link down below in the video description. That will take you on over to a very generic BAM Box site. And why I say it's generic, it's not necessarily dedicated to BAM Horror Box, but it is dedicated to BAM across the board. So you can go onto their website, choose which BAM Box is best for you, pointing to the person that thought nobody was pointing at them at the back of the audience right now. The person's like, me? Yes, you. Still pointing at you. This situation has gotten rather awkward. But yes, you can choose the best BAM box for you. And then from there, every single month, those BAM boxes will get, like I said, dropped off at your doorstep. We're going to go ahead now and cut up the newest offering from BAM Horror and check out the contents inside. Of course, I could just use my laser vision, but I promised the government I wasn't going to be doing that anymore just for fun. I would have to use it for saving lives and cutting open the sides of boats and stuff like that. But what we're going to do instead is reaching off to the black hole. I'm going to grab myself Chet Cuttington the third. That's my trusty knife. And I'm going to make some short work of the tape that's featured on the front of the box. By the way, not that I should be pointing the knife towards my hand so closely like this. For fans, by fans. That's what BAM Box is all about. Cutting, though, away from myself. Away from myself. I'm not going to be cutting any bit of the skin. Opening up the box. You're also holding the ultimate collector's experience. That's not something I did say at the beginning of this video. We're going to just take the packing pip paper, a BAM box. We're going to put that to the side. And let's check out what stuff we've got going on inside. First of all, a pin. I see there's several pins in here. There's two. The first one being the Leprechaun. Have you ever seen the Leprechaun series? I say series because there's what? How many is there? There's six of them. There's Leprechaun 1, 2, 3, in space, in the hood, back to the hood. What is that? That's six? you think my math would be so much easier for that very few number of titles. What's your favorite Leprechaun movie? Let me know down below in the comments section. Of course, I always like the original with Jennifer Aniston. I'm also a big fan of the third one. Is that the one where they? it's Las Vegas? Leprechaun in Las Vegas. Is that the third one? The kid puts his face in a, in a fan. Hilarity ensues. But that's my favorite. What's your favorite Leprechaun film? Let me know down below. And then, of course, there was that very awkward sequel. And then there was that sort of remake, which I think was more taking it from the first film and then just continuing on from there. So I guess there's, what, eight Leprechauns? Oh, my math is terrible right now. Let me know down below in the comment section. But a decent-looking Leprechaun pin. He's looking, I'm sure, for his pot of gold. Or his, or his shiny coin, or was it the shamrock? The other thing we have is Bubba Hotep. Not specifically Bubba Hotep, but it's, of course, Bruce Campbell playing Elvis in Bubba Hotep. That's a great film, by the way. I always kind of wish they could have done another one of those, but really, do you need to make another sequel, a sequel to Bubba Hotep? It sort of stands on its own, perfectly fine as it is. Bubba Hotep. I have this also inside, which clearly is a cross, and it looks like it's meant for impaling somebody, but I don't know what it's actually from. If you happen to know, and don't cheat, don't just say, I mean, you know, I'm going to wait till the end of this video where it was revealed on the card what it is, and then tell me down below in the comments section, oh, it's this, and I knew it right from the beginning of the video. I would say, you, sir, are a fibber face. There's a few things in life that I don't like. One is a fibber face. The other one I don't like are honey badgers. Those things are nasty little things. You think to yourself, cute. Oh, they look so sweet. A honey badger is not sweet. A honey badger would rip your eyes out. You probably will want to use one of these. It's clearly a cross, but it looks like it's something on the end for bludgeoning. <laughs> probably not going to be making that noise while you're doing it. Let's check out the other things inside the band box. First of all, we got cheerleader camp. This is right up my alley because I'm a big fan of 80s slasher films. In fact, just the night prior to shooting this video, I watched a movie called Rush Week. Not a great movie. The gore and, and on-screen kill count was very low. It's embarrassing, in fact, what little gore Rush Week had. So if you did want to, by the way, follow me along and see what exploits I do when I'm not reviewing, Feel free, of course, shameless plug, to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I always post what videos, what 80s slashers I'm watching right now. 
I think I'm going to be watching this tonight. Uh, this is, uh, well, this is Saturday right now, and I'm shooting this video. I think I'm probably going to go with... There's one about a high school team of uh, gymnasts and sports uh, sports athletes, and they're being killed by a killer with a javelin. I think it's called Fatal Fatal Finish or Fatal Week or something like that. It's not even important to really what we're talking about here. Cheerleader Camp was thing, the sort of thing that got my mind going about it. Anyways, you can, of course, follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. The uh, links to those will be down below in the video description. And then finally, we have ourselves an autograph. Oh, nice. We have H.P. Lovecraft's classic tale of horror, The Reanimator. It will scare you to pieces. Is this actually been signed by you-know-who? Uh, what is his name? Jeffrey Combs? I think it's Jeffrey Combs. Oh, it is Jeffrey Combs. Pulling, in fact, the little included card. Jeffrey Combs. I love Jeffrey Combs. Not only did I enjoy him in Star Trek Deep Space Nine, but he was also in, what was the, that other thing? He was also, I think, the voice of Brainiac in the original Superman animated series. Fantastic. Jeffrey Combs. Yeah, he was also in the Frighteners, too. Reanimated Frighteners, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Jeffrey Combs, the actor. And I do like that they actually had him sign this, the original poster for this. Because I'm sure there's probably going to be other images that they would have all... Yeah, see, okay. Let's put this down. Let's grab the card. Because, of course, we are talking about this after all. These are the other ones that they could have, well, they would have packed inside the box. I think, I happen to think I've got the best of the batch the, right there, the reanimator, Jeffrey Combs. Ooh, that's so awesome. Uh, of course, yeah, there's a couple of him also there as well. Uh, the prop replica, by the way, it was from Dracula 2000. That was the crucifix dagger. If you haven't had yet the chance to check out Dracula 2000, I enjoyed it. Uh, it, it stars uh, that guy uh, from 300. What's, what is it? What, what, is, what is his name? Gerard Butler, although I think he was called Jerry Butler in Dracula 2000. And it had a rather interesting backstory that, well, I'm not going to tell you the backstory if you haven't had a chance to see it. Dracula 2000, give it a watch. The enamel pin set was the creative terror of Leprechaun. And then there was also Bubba Hotep. I think that's, I would suspect that's Bubba Hotep. And then the art print was Tatum, is it Gargulio? Gargulio of Cheerleader Camp. And there's two different variations. That's which one I get. I think I got the original one, right? Blue background, blue background, I think is the original one. And then brown background is the chase variant. I'm going to have to come up with, what was the name of that movie anyways? I think it's like Fatal Finish, Fatal Week. If you have seen the movie, let me, you'll probably tell me down below in the comment section. In the meantime, though, in the March 2022 box of Bam Horror, these were the things we opened up and found inside. An autograph prints from the one and only Jeffrey Combs. That's going directly into my binder of autographs. A prop replica from Dracula 2000, which was actually a pretty good Dracula film. If you haven't had a chance yet to watch it, give it a give it a good good give it a good look. The enamel pin set of a leprechaun, and then they didn't actually even tell you who this character is, but I would imagine that's Bruce Campbell from Baba Hotep. Great film. And then the art prints, of course, cheerleader camp. If you would like to get all of this stuff delivered to your doorstep, whether you're off in a far off castle somewhere, although I think the shipping would be probably a little bit more than that. But if you guys are interested and would like to get all the things we looked at in this unboxing, deliver to your doorstep. You can click the link down below in the video description that will take you on over to BAM Box's website. From there, choose not necessarily the BAM Horror Box, but choose the best BAM Box that's best for you. If you're also certainly down in the area anyways, and like to click on things, if you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button down below. Turn as well the bell notification so you're going to get those reminders of when new videos are going to be popping up. And yes, of course, at the very end of this video, we'll be popping up a playlist of other subscription boxes I've been unboxing over the years. If you just would like to go back and you have a few hours to kill, probably a few days to kill by how many videos I've been posting so many over the years... But yeah, there will be a playlist popping up at the very end if you would like to give that a gander. Keep your eyes peeled, peepers peeled. Well, we certainly have finished up the unboxing of the BAM Horror Box from March 2022. There is definitely going to be a lot more unboxings coming your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.